presents securely from Google Meet. Previously, Finton took us through the latest Google Meet interface introduced back in 2021. Since then, we've had lots of questions, and one that pops up time and time again is about the screen sharing function. So, let's take some time to look at the presenting options. When you click on the Present Now button, Google Meet offers you three options to share your screen with participants. Firstly, your entire screen. When you select your entire screen, a pop-out will appear showing all screens available for sharing. Even if there is only one available screen, you will still need to select it, displaying a blue border, and only then will the share button appear active. Now, as you can see, your participants can view your screen. Note that as I go into a presenter window, because I'm sharing my screen, the participant will be able to see my presentation notes. If I minimize the presentation window, the participant will see any other windows that are open on this screen, or alternatively, they will see my desktop. Imagine I'm presenting to a client. In this presentation mode, they can not only see my desktop photograph of the kids, they can also see any documents saved to my desktop, including Jeff's performance improvement plan and my personal medical information. Not the best when you're on a client call. Now, before I scare you off, there are genuine scenarios when sharing your entire screen is required. If I'm having perhaps an issue with the audio settings on my desktop, I could have a quick call with my IT engineer, share my entire screen and show them the settings that I have. Or perhaps they could talk me through setting up a second screen. Maybe I have some documentation or software that I want to collaborate on, but it does not have a browser view. For me to work collaboratively with Dan on the marketing team on today's video, I need to use the entire screen functionality so that he can see the video editing software that I'm using. So in short, this function will display your entire screen, which is great if you are presenting content that is desktop native. However, be cautious that all confidential information on your desktop is put away and any superfluous browser windows are closed. Next, share a window. When choosing to share a window, you will again have to indicate the window you wish to share by clicking to highlight. Only then will the share button become active. Once you have shared your window, you may see a momentary infinity window if you've shared the window which contains the Google Meet tab. If you wish to avoid this, have your content ready in a separate window from your Meet. Now your participants can see your journey as you navigate from document tab to document tab. This is very useful in workshops or in team meetings where you will be jumping between presentations, application windows, or even web pages. However, if you accidentally navigate to a tab that you didn't mean to, you can expose those tabs to your participants. For tabs you want to view, but you don't want a participant to see, you could move these to their own window. Then you can toggle between those windows, or you could engage a split screen to view them side by side as you present. Now let's look at what we did through the eyes of a participant. Here you can see that as you navigate to a tab, it appears. Notice also that as a participant, I can view the tab Flavicons, even if you don't navigate to them. My boss might not be thrilled to see Flavicons for job sites, recruitment sites on my web browser, whilst I'm reporting the progress on the annual client cocktail party. We discussed split screen viewing so that you can see tabs in other windows without exposing these to your participants. But be aware that this can change the view presented when you minimize the window, quadrant the window, and when you split the window. In each of these cases, the content can become so small as to be illegible.
In summary, this function will display only a specified window, which is great if you have lots of documents to open and want to limit what your participant sees on your screen while still moving through multiple tabs. However, be cautious as your tabs and tab groups are visible at the top of the screen. And if you accidentally click into an incorrect tab, that content will display to your participants. Lastly, share a tab. Sharing a singular tab is one of the safest ways to share your screen. Once you select the option, the window will display all the tabs you have open. Take care to choose the right tab and again, only once selected will your share button become active. Once the tab is shared to the participants, a banner will appear on the top of your view. This banner is an indicator that the tab is shared and it offers a quick stop sharing option and helpfully has a linked button which once clicked will reorientate you in the Meet tab. In the Meet tab, the button works the opposite ways and will take you back to the tab that you are sharing. As I navigate to another tab, the banner remains in place, but the button changes to a share this tab instead button. This means that as you navigate to other tabs, the participants will see only the initially selected tab, unless you click the share this tab instead button to give permission to share the tab you are on. Let's flip and have a look at the participants view. Notice here that there is no visual of the sharer's omni bar or tabs bar, meaning this view is much more private. As the person screen sharing navigates tabs, there is no indicator that they are moving around in their tabs unless the sharer selects to share the tab they are on, at which point it will smoothly change for the viewer. Now, this can have its downside. As a systems trainer, I often in training jump between tabs in a session to demonstrate an example document in answer to a question. However, there are occasions when I forget to share the new tab to the participants until someone reminds me. So always keep a view on the banner. Also, as a trainer, video is a common resource that I use. When playing a video to delegates, if I need them to hear the audio, I must share that video in a tab in order for the audio to be picked up by Google Meet. Simply put, the share a tab option affords, in my view, the safest sharing experience as it shares only one tab in a window and the sharer must give explicit permissions to Meet to share other tabs as they navigate to them. In addition, it hides all personalization you might have on your computer, including bookmarks, wallpapers, documents, and tabs. So in future, you might give how you share a little more thought and choose the right canvas to share your work. So use the entire screen to view work that cannot be viewed in a browser window. Use window sharing when you have multiple tabs to view in presentation, but do remember to help stay private by bunching those tabs into their own window when sharing. Use tab sharing as your default share canvas. But there is one more option. Thanks to Google Workspace's built-in interoperability, you can share directly from an editor application. Let's take a look at this. When in your document, click the Google Meet icon and select the option to present the tab. Select the tab and share. In this case, Google has recognized that I'm presenting a slide deck and as it appears for my participants, it is already placed in presenter mode. In the bottom right-hand corner, presenter controls appear so that I can control my presentation in the same window. Believe me, having my presentation controls and participants on the one screen is excellent. I can take the slide deck out of presentation mode also, or restart the presentation in the same control box too. 
As a trainer, this functionality is huge for me and means that I'm enabled to engage more with the activity tools whilst presenting. More on the activity tools another day. We hope this clarified all the options available for screen sharing. And perhaps after today, you've decided on a new default sharing option. Let us know your thoughts. And if you've been using some other software and are now interested in Google Meet, get in touch and talk to our team about the right options for you.